Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the LEGO Lord of the Rings, The Mines of Moria set. This is how far we made it into part one. If you missed it, check out the link down below. So we have the um, entrance, kind of the cave area where the uh, troll enters into the scene. We have our little well. There's a book back here too. And the book goes with this little tomb. We have three of the minifigures. So we are moving on to instruction book number two. We have two more bags of parts to go, starting with bag three. We have a bag three and a bag four to build. So get all this stuff dumped out. Looks like we're gonna finish the minifigures for this set in this bag. Okay. There's all of our parts. <coughs> Move these plates out of the way so I can get to our minifigures. Okay. So we have the, the Moria orcs. They're identical. So there's their faces. They actually do have the different prints. It's a double printed face, but it looks identical. I don't see any difference. That's kind of weird. They would print the same face on both sides. So they get the hairpiece with little ears already on the hairpiece. And then they have their swords. Well, one of them has a sword. So this is where it varies. Okay. I'll put this guy's on here first. He has a mace. So that's our first one. The other guy gets the shield and the sword. If I can find the things. All right, so there's the shield. There it is. I was about to say it's a giant blade. I don't know how it could be hiding from me. All right, so that's the other little weapon. Our last minifigure for this set is Legolas. He has a double printed face, kind of a straight face, and then the angry face. I'm gonna do the angry face. And of course he has his bow and arrow. So with the hair piece, the way it's molded, there's no way to put the uh, a little quiver in the back that holds the extra arrows. So he's kind of just one bow, one arrow. You got one shot. That's it. All right. So move some of these over. Make room for this. We're going to begin, I guess, the last module. So if you notice from how we built the first thing, there's there's just kind of separate little modules that create create the scene. We're not building a full detailed completed mine. So this is more or less the next one to go. Why am I struggling to find a regular one by two brick. It's right there. Right in front of me the whole time. Alright. Tile. Tile. Some black bricks. Another tile there. I 
So this looks like a little play feature that we're creating. We have a treasure chest with a lid. Drop a few gems in there. Close it up. Put that there. That goes there. couple inverted slopes and quite a few bricks See that slides it in and out it's like a hidden treasure and you can slide it out and reveal it. All right, so it shows these one by ones with the studs facing inward. So that more or less creates the foundation. I'm going to put this big plate on top of the whole thing. Just like that. This little bottle keeps wanting to slide away from me. and these tiles are going to have stickers on them. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sticker on before I put the tile on. It shows in the instructions that these are... the tiles are put on the model and then we put the stickers on, but I'm going to do it the opposite way. I find it easier to put the sticker on first. And then you can simply it on there. All right, that looks good. So it creates that little detail. It's like we're at the point of the build where we're just stacking bricks. It's kind of the easier part. All right, so we have these two brown panels. And these are gonna get stickers. These are gonna go on the inside. Stickers on the inside of panels can be a little tricky. 
Because it could be a little hard to line it up. Looks like I was able to do that pretty effortlessly. All right, so next brick here. Some tall one bys. Slopes. Okay, so we have this brick. We're going to put three headlight bricks on top of it. And then each one of the headlight brick gets a one by one tile. Push down on the table, make it all line up. That goes there. Repeating that whole step. So we have two of those pieces. And more plates and we have some tiles now this will kind of finish off the top Yeah, dropping stuff. All right. So now on the front, we're going to put a plate, plate, a tile, plate, tile, plate, and a plate. These tiles, I like the variating heights of it, the way it kind of goes in and out. Looks nice. Um, so we have more stickers. Sticker number eight. Once again, they show the tiles are already put on the model and then it shows you putting the stickers on, but I'm doing that kind of the opposite. Sticker number nine. Ah, that is all crooked. First one I've messed up today. Come on. There we go. See, that wasn't that hard. Okay. Now, 
what does make these stickers a little bit challenging is it's printed on a clear backing. So it's hard to see where the actual edge or end of the sticker is. All right, so with that complete, we're gonna put a few little decorations slash accessories up here. We have this barrel with a pickaxe in it. We have a bottle. We have a spear on this. Um, cone brick. We have a tile coming off. And we have another book. It's just sitting up here. And a gem just up there as well. So there it is. That completes bag number three. So we have one more bag of parts to go. It is bag number four. Okay, we have all of our bag four parts. We are ready to go. We're ready to complete this set. So we're gonna start with some bricks on this plate. Have some one by three plates with another plate there. modified plate with just two studs, a tile and a tile. Oops, wrong brick. That brick, we have a corner brick. Corner brick goes there. Technic lift arm. We're going to put this brick that has a whoops. There's a Technic pin on it, and it's a non friction variety, so you can see it spins. Now it's not meant to spin on this, it's more or less we're creating a like a little lever system to probably make another play feature. Two headlight bricks. Each one has a one by one tile on it. One will go here, one here. Six by six square plate, and then a four by four square here. Shows us putting sticker number 12 on this brick. Just like that, gives a little bit of detail. This is another, we're building another module to connect to the main piece we just built in the previous bag. If you remember those, that main piece had um, pins sticking out the side. You can see them right here. And then we have the pin holes there. So you can kind of conclude that that's what will 
connect each other together. Alright, another headlight brick with the tile. That goes there. Another plate, another corner plate. slope there and a regular cheese slope right here and it shows a sticker I don't like putting the stickers on once it's brick or tile or whatever is already on the model I find it easier to put on before but that looks pretty good so we have little details to add we have this tile torch we have a skeleton head and a bone just sitting up there so pretty much like I guessed bring this over and those line up and connect just like that move that to the side now we're going to create the other side it's going to be similar you can see we have the technic brick right here that has the two holes so that's what will connect to the other side of that some of these other details I have these one by three plates standard headlight brick with tile detail it goes like that plates on there and the sticker <clears throat> calls it out a sticker number 11 
All right, so this is pretty much identical mirror copy to what we did on the other side up until right now. So this piece is a little bit different. Let's see the corner plate. Regular plate here. <clears throat> So now we're going to add a few more details, kind of like we did on the other one. Add some tiles. So this column, basically, that we had on the other side has been broken off on this side. So that's the way it's going to go. Bring this over. Attach that right there. Now we have a two times build. Of the other, the last two column pieces. Some tiles. looking good so we have our masonry profile bricks on top of that stack four of these two by threes that inverted slopes up with this one before I turn the page that was basically all the steps for two pages of instructions it's going pretty qu quick simple stacking of bricks one two three four one two okay this should look identical Slope, slope, slope and a slope. So there they are. Now, we have a few stickers to put on them. This one's gonna go right here. This one right here. This 
This one goes here. And I have one more sticker that I didn't put on. Hmm. I don't see anywhere that I missed it. Sure, I missed it somewhere. All right, so these pieces both go there like that. So remember our little levers that we made back there when you uh, push on them, the columns fall over. It doesn't take much, it just barely taps them and they fall over. So that is pretty cool. All right, so let's look at this whole set. Make sure I'm zoomed out. I'll move this box out of the way. Hold on, there's a few. One other little thing here. Okay, so there was this one bag that had all of these little accessory pieces in it and they're just variations of weapons that are this is kind of unique like this little orb thing like i've never seen this before and then we get a little modified axe piece and then this little claw thing so it just shows um in the instructions that these are just kind of scattered on the floor of the the mine so we have this portion here, we have the well, we have the tomb, we have the cave troll. Here's the door that the cave troll can come busting in through. And then we have a couple orcs. We have Legolas. Um, Pippin. Boromir, and is that it? Yeah, that's it. So there it is. That is the Lego Lord of the Rings, the Mines of Moria set. So appreciate you guys watching. This was a pretty cool set. I can't believe it took me five years to build this. That's right, I've had this set for five years in my closet, just waiting to get built. I actually have quite a few um, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit sets that I haven't built yet that have been sitting in there for years. So I'm going to get them to get to them all eventually. So, uh, best way to make sure you don't miss any of them is sub subscribe to this channel. Check out all the other videos I have on this channel. Um, ton of ton, ton, ton of Lego build stuff. So if you love this video, you'll love everything else and we will see you in the next one.